This is VOA News. Reporting by remote, I'm David Byrd. President Donald Trump sought to quell reports of a rift between himself and Dr. Anthony Fauci, the nation's top infectious disease specialist, stating again Wednesday that he has a very good relationship with Fauci. Speaking to reporters as he left for an event on infrastructure in Atlanta, Trump insisted that, quote, we're all on the same team. We're all in the same team. We want to get rid of this mess that China sent us. So everybody's working on the same line, and we're doing very well. We're doing well in a lot of ways, and our country's coming back very strong. The president also looked to distance himself from an op-ed written by his trade advisor, Peter Navarro, in USA Today newspaper, in which Navarro says Fauci has been wrong about everything he has interacted with him on. Asked if Navarro went rogue in writing the piece, Trump said that he had made a statement representing himself and he shouldn't be doing that. With the virus pandemic getting worse, Congress will be back in Washington next week to consider a fresh relief package. AP's Sagar Megani has details. Republicans have been reluctant to approve more aid, but priorities have shifted as the virus continues hammering the U.S. Senate GOP Chief Mitch McConnell says he now hopes to quickly approve a relief bill, which is expected to hit a trillion dollars. He'll roll out details next week, focusing on schools and kids, jobs and unemployment and health care. House Democrats have already approved a $3 trillion bill. Speaker Nancy Pelosi warns if Congress does not make a big enough investment in fighting the virus, the economy will pay an even bigger price. Sagar Magani, Washington. An update on Wall Street with all three major indices finishing trading in positive territory. This is VOA News. Walmart will now require customers to wear face coverings at all of its namesake and Sam's Club stores, making it the largest retailer to introduce such a policy that has otherwise proven difficult to enforce without state and federal requirements. The company said the policy will go into effect on Monday to allow time to inform stores and customers the Arkansas-based company said that currently about 65% of its more than 5,000 stores and clubs are located in areas where there is already some form of government mandate on face coverings. The retailer also said it will create the role of health ambassador at its Walmart stores and will station them near the entrance to remind customers without masks of the new requirement. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said Wednesday the United States would impose visa restrictions on Chinese companies like Huawei Technologies, which he accused of facilitating human rights violations. Pompeo told a news conference the State Department would impose the visa restrictions on certain employees of Chinese tech companies like Huawei that prop up regimes that violate human rights. The State Department will impose visa restrictions on certain employees of the Chinese of Chinese technology companies like Huawei that provide material support to regimes engaging in human rights violations and abuses globally. Asked about British Prime Minister Boris Johnson's order that Huawei equipment be purged by the end of 2027, Pompeo said faster is always better in terms of getting Huawei out of telecom infrastructure. The United States contends Huawei is a security risk because of its links to the Chinese government. Beijing rejects that assertion, saying the United States is just trying to get rid of a commercial rival. Body camera footage has been made public from two Minneapolis, Minnesota police officers involved in the arrest of George Floyd. Floyd's death at the hand of police set off worldwide demonstrations. AP's Ed Donahue reports. In the minutes before his death, Floyd pleads with the officers, saying, I'm not a bad guy. An onlooker told him, you can't win. Floyd responded, I don't want to win. A few minutes later, his voice fading, Floyd occasionally says, I can't breathe, before he goes still. George Floyd's family is suing the city of Minneapolis. It was the knee of the entire Minneapolis Police Department on the neck of George Floyd that killed him. Attorney Benjamin Crump says the city allowed a culture of excessive force, racism, and impunity to flourish in the police force. I'm Ed Donahue. Reporting by remote, I'm David Bird, VOA News.